Hello YouTube. Here we have my main machine. I've booted up Ubuntu from a USB stick. Yay USB sticks. Um So we're gonna install it now. Ooh, shiny buttons. So it's a new installer, which looks very nice. Now when I did download updates while installing <coughs> in the uh release candidate it didn't work let's see if it works in these this final release that I'm installing and the reason I'm reinstalling is because the repositories got all messed up yesterday which is not a surprise but still kinda sucks now to start this up properly I had to um, hit the button while Ubuntu start Ubuntu uh, the live thing started up to get to the menu and I had to put no mode set on in the other options for this thing to even display things on the screen properly. <laughs> and there you go. I'm going to do spe specify partitions mainly since I don't want to delete my home partition since I has files on there. There they are. There's my beautiful Linux disks. Change that. Make it ext4. I'm going to format that since that's the root partition. This is why it's important to have a home partition. If you need to reinstall the operating system, you don't have to, to move all your files around all the time. Now I'm going to make that home and not format it. That's the trick. Then I can install it. Hunky dory. Hunka hunka dory. Go through the keyboard shits. Type in my name because my computer loves to take my information <laughs> there we go and here we go it's installing it pretty much is exactly like the release candidate was which is nothing surprising. There's just been bug fixes since the release candidate came out. And hopefully installing the main one will just fix the repository issues I've been having. And I've been installing from USB and it's almost finished copying files already. USB is awesome. That's just moving along so fast compared to the installing it with the with the um, with a CD or a DVD. <laughs> Imagine installing Ubuntu from a Blu-ray; it would take forever. There, it's configuring app, scanning the mirrors. Hopefully, it has the right mirrors this time. Because I was getting errors, I was getting uh, JPG keys not working the way they're supposed to. But then again, it w wasn't a final release, so nah. The slideshow looks so much, so awesome. And of course, they have GIMP in the actual featured software, but they don't include it anymore. Meh. Let's focus this better. There we go. It's configuring it. Checking for packages to install. Doing the language packs. Excellent, excellent. Language packs don't take that long at all. There's some of the backgrounds that are available. They give you shot well now instead of F spot. I didn't like F spot that much to tell you the truth, so shot well for the win. <laughs> Installing the language packs, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Detecting hardware, finishing it, meh, 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 configuring the hardware. I'm going to have to configure Grub once I boot this thing up so that I can actually look at things on the screen. looking for other operating systems. Well, it's going to find Windows. Oof. 
No, it has to download more. It's downloading updates. It's actually downloading updates this time. Very nice. Seems that the repositories are actually working properly now. Do like. Well, that's excellent. That's the one thing that wasn't working in the installer when I tried it in the release candidate. Muse is awesome. That's a great example right there. Rolling Stones, yay. <laughs> Rhythm Box, Ubuntu Music Store is pretty awesome. Coolio. I'll let that download. Alright, it's just about done downloading. Yeah, it's installing the system now. Very nice. Browse the web. Woohoo. And it is done installing. So let's uh, restart. I'm going to let it shut off and remove the USB drive from the computer. Here it is. Now I'm going to show you guys what happens when I don't boot up without when I boot up without using no mod set. Bad things happen. Watch. Once X loads, I get a bunch of garbled blah. Or do I? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this. Look at this. It looks like an 8-bit game blown up to hell. Like, holy crap. So, <laughs> I'm going to shut that off and restart it. So, I'm just going to hold down the power button. Good night. Start up again. And... Insert the no mode set stuff into Grub. And I'll show you how to do that if you get the same thing that I do. And this is basically the reason for me making this video because if you get garbled crap on your computer because of an Nvidia card, that's probably why. Now, what it says here, you can press E to edit the commands, so I will do that. Now this lets you edit parts of Grub, which is nice. And what you want to do is find this line here, which has the vboot vlinux 2.6.35. The 2.6. whatever is your kernel. So you go to the end of the kernel line. Move that cursor. Move it, move it, move it. All the way to the end. Alright. Sorry, I was interrupted for a second. Anyway, back to this thing. All you do is type no mode set at the end of the kernel line, which is from there, after the quiet splash stuff, to there. Add that. Then press Control x to boot. And we should have a screen that we can actually read now, which would be nice. <laughs> Yep, that did it. There you go. If you have issues with your graphics card, just do that and it should work just fine. Let's see if all my files are still there. It still has my background, still has all that stuff. Some of my programs are missing, but I'll just add those later. But yep, all my files are still there. Awesome. Now the most important thing is let's check the software sources. See if my repositories are still there, which they probably are not. They're not. I'll enable the partners one. I'll enable download updates in the background. I'll send statistics. All right. Reload. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it still has the JPG problem. GPG problem, I mean. Nope, nope. Yep. 
Definitely install it from the official CD because it doesn't have the uh, repository issues off right off the bat, which is really nice. Let's check Update Manager, see what's if there's anything. We're gonna check again. Only two little updates, nothing major. Nice. Yeah, a lot of the updates were on October 8th, believe it or not. That's when a lot of uh, major updates happened, and this is just, that was the polishing. Seems like everything's alright now. Now I need to, I need to install the restricted drivers. Which happens to be my NVIDIA card, so my NVIDIA GT240. So let's install that. which will definitely take a while. So, as you can see, installing the final release disk will actually help in terms of the repository issues that they had in the release candidate. So, go for it, guys. Just thought I'd show you that, and uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.